Hi, friends. It's so good to be with you today. I'm sorry I can't be there physically with you, but very happy to offer greetings this way as you gather together as a district to vision and celebrate and plan. I asked Skip what his theme was, and he said, well, I'm really playing with mountains. I come to the mountains, and the mountains come to me. And it made me think about, uh, I used to be a uh, I used to run a junior high hiking camp, church hiking camp. That's where Robin and I met. And it, it made me think of one camper in particular, Chris from Treadwell. Chris was 11 years old. And at the start of our time together, Chris always wound up in the rear during our hikes. He dragged far behind from those at the beginning. And since one of our rules was that you never hiked ahead without seeing the rear of our line, those at the front were incredibly frustrated as they waited for Chris to round a bend or come into a clearing. When they'd spot him, they'd let out a whoop and gallop off down the trail, not even waiting for Chris to catch his breath or even catch up with them. Chris never complained about being in the rear. He just kept his slow, steady pace. And one time I looked down at his shoes, which were simply old torn sneakers and told him to lace them up better. They were awfully loose. Chris sat down on a rock and took off his sneaker. It was then that I realized that Chris had a club foot. Here he was, hiking with a club foot in shoes that couldn't adequately support or fit him. And he never complained, never let on just how difficult it was to hike the terrain we were on. Well, it was clear we needed to make some adjustments in our hiking order. And so I gathered the group together and said that we were going to have a new formation. Chris was going to lead us. No one was to get ahead of Chris. Well, you can imagine some of the more athletic people just rolled their eyes. This was going to be so boring. For the next two miles, there was silence from the group. And there was a hostility towards this new rule that was so thick, you could cut it with a knife. Still, Chris plodded on seemingly unaware of the disturbance his new position had created. Slow and steady, he hiked onward, the rest of the group falling in line behind him. Now, because of Chris's pace, the group wasn't as strung out along the path as before. They pretty much hiked all together. Now, all the differently paced people Hiked together, and as people and people began to talk, and new conversations were struck between individuals who otherwise would have been at opposite ends of the trail. I began to note changes in how the group treated each other. No longer were branches thoughtlessly released to snap back into the next person's face, but they were held so that they could clear it. Hands were offered at particularly treacherous or challenging places, the, the group began to look out for each other. Whenever someone began to lag behind because of fatigue, the whole group paused while they caught their breath, and some people began to help coach them the rest of the way. Chris was cheered whenever we began and ended a hike, and it was a miracle. The group learned to be interdependent, the fast and the slow, the sure-footed and the club-footed, the city girl, and the country boy. At camp, I learned the truth of Jesus' words, of the blessing that can be ours when we're willing to upset the social order, when we allow the last to be first. You're gathering and climbing a mountain together. It's really hard when you look at the challenges we face as a church in this very broken world. It becomes easy to look out just for ourselves and forget about our neighbors. It becomes easy to 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 want to race to the mountaintop no matter who you have to step over. But that's not what Jesus asks of us. We as Christians can't get to the mountaintop and, unless we bring others with us. Unless we meet people where they are with whatever their gait is, however slow or fast or erratic their hiking is, but we meet them where they are. And together, we traverse the terrain to get to the mountaintop and to behold the beauty God offers us and the miracles that can be ours 
when we truly become community together. My hope is for you during this time that you will hear about the ministries of each church, that you will hear the blessings, the way each church blesses their community, how varied leadership is across the district. And I hope you'll celebrate. You'll celebrate being at the mountaintop and allowing God's Holy Spirit to transform you because you dare to create beloved community together. May you, this time together, be incredibly rich. Thank you for the ways you reach out into the world with, with the arms of Jesus to bear God's love into a world that is so hungry, that is so hungry for compassion and justice, for kindness and right relationships. May you model that together. And then walk with others, help get them to the mountaintop as well. God bless you. And I look forward to seeing some of you at annual conference.